piano outlet. And today I'm making a video of how to install a Yamaha powered speaker on your player piano. Most of the time uh, we install them on Yamahas, but uh, you would be able to install them on other pianos as long as they have a configuration that's similar, and most grand pianos do. So one would assume you could put this on any piano, but I actually haven't tried on any other piano other than Yamaha. Uh, these Yamaha speakers are the same model that they use on Mark IV and newer uh, Yamaha player pianos. I prefer these speakers over anything else to use. They're just so excellent. They have two inputs, as you can see in the back, one which is a quarter, actually three inputs. They have RCA, an unbalanced input, and they have a quarter inch jack input. And uh, so you have that ability. And what I like about it, each, uh, each input has a different uh, volume control, and then you have a low and high equalization on this. So, and besides, the speaker is just made really nice. It's just great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you instructions on how to mount it with the mounting kit that Yamaha specifically designed to hang the speaker under the piano. Because what some people do is that they'll drill holes and put like L brackets, and that's terrible. You don't want to be drilling holes in the speaker. So Yamaha has an, um, a, um, an installation process for the speaker, and it has all these parts. So if the camera come up here, I can show you what each part is. Uh, this part here is what they call the speaker holder. And this is going to go here like this. Okay? Well, you'll see when I get to put it on. Okay? This part here is the speaker hanger. This actually gets attached to the speaker specifically. And then they have this, this is called the speaker bracket. And then you have these three long screws. You have these two screws that attach the, uh, the speaker hanger to the speaker. And then these two uh, adjustment screws. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're gonna put this on your speaker. So you're gonna take the speaker, you're gonna turn it upside down. And then the part that's like a semicircle, that gets faced towards the front. Okay, now there's two holes here. There's a hole here and a slot here, and it corresponds with the two holes here. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put those, put this on. See, and you take these two screws specifically for that. And all this is included in the speaker kit. When uh, you, you purchase a speaker from me, it, with the kit included, all these parts come. Okay. There you go, there's one. There's two. Okay, so now you have your holder, your hanger, called the speaker hang on here. Now the next step, really the next step that you want to do is you want to see where it's going to go on the piano. So the one thing that we want to do is we want to, you're most likely going to use an RCA cord, so you want to plug it in because you want to make sure you have enough clearance inside the piano to accommodate the back of the wire. So you're going to plug your speaker in first, like so. And then what we're going to do, you have to find where it's going to go on the piano. So how this gets mounted is pretty much like this. So you have to pick a spot that you have enough space uh, for the top of the, this has a lot of space, this is a big piano. Some pianos are too small so you wouldn't be able to put it you know, um, in certain areas. But this, you have a lot of space here to work with. So this is basically where the speaker is gonna go, okay? In this area here. What you wanna make sure is that the RCA cable doesn't hit any of the, the, um, the ribs in the soundboard. So you wanna make sure it's clear of that. So that's why I always make sure that the wire is in here before I do it. And then also you have an on off switch. You wanna mount the speaker, make sure you turn the power switch on, otherwise you're not gonna know if it's on or off once you mount it. Okay, so that's where it's gonna go. I set this here, <clears throat> and then we're going to get our mounting pieces here. Okay. So this is going to go here. Okay. Now you'll notice that you have three holes. You have three holes on this. So what's going to happen is it's going to go in this configuration. This is going to go here. This is going to go on the other side, and then you're going to take these long screws. I like to do the, the single one first. You take the screw, 
put it through, and the um, the bracket here is threaded, so you'll be able to just tighten it up. Okay, don't tighten it too much. Okay, then you got to take the other screw. Go into the other hole, and then the other screw goes in the last right here. There you go. And I'm going to tighten these up. There you go. Nice and snug. Now, if you um, loosen this up a little bit because it's not lined up. There we go. This is nice and snug. If you wanted to move it back and forth, you just loosen these and then you can move it up this way, a little more, a little back down this way, but this should be the right place for it. Now, what you want to see, and if the camera will come over here, you have hooks over here. Underneath this, this bracket, there's hooks. If the camera will come up and show. Do you see the hooks? Okay. So there's hooks over here, and you're gonna hook this slot gets attached to the hooks. See? Now it's hooked in. And now you take your butterfly screws, which are right here. See these here? And they get screwed in here. Lots of turns, obviously. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to get the other one. <clears throat> it's amazing just how many parts are involved with this. I mean, you would think that mounting the speaker would be something that's, you know, pretty straightforward and simple. <laughs> but, uh, and it is pretty much, but it, it does seem like it's a little o o more overly complicated than it needs to be, but it happens to be the best way to mount this speaker. And this is the best sounding speaker for any player piano right here. And you really only need one. A lot of people say, well, should I have two? Well, you know, you're never going to really have the piano playing that loud in your house because it's mostly going to be at a low volume, nice and sweet sounding. So if you want to have a glass of wine with your sweetheart or whatever, or talk on the phone, uh, the piano is not being obnoxiously loud. But anyway, as you can see, there it is. And it's not going anywhere. And uh, the wire's already plugged in. Here's your power cord. Just plug it into your power strip. Because so when we send our pianos out, we usually have a power strip down there. And then this will go to uh, the control box that has the background music for your piano. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and this how-to video on how to install the speaker and speaker mounting kit. Thank you very much for watching. And any more questions, feel free to give me a call. Russell, Piano Outlet, 954-803-3319. Thank you.